So why would anybody want to put a light dimmer into their espresso machine? Let's talk about that today. I've got this uh, dimmer installed in my DeLonghi Dedica and now we want to see what for? What does it do? So let's just start a shot and have a look. So you can start at really low pressure because you're limiting the flow. And then you can increase the pressure as you want up to the full pressure. And if you like, you can do a decline as well. So we can just lower the pressure a bit. Just like that. So you're free to do whatever you want. That is awesome. Now, let's see how to do this. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're finally going to install a dimmer on a DeLonghi Dedica right here. And you can see that I'm already here in the process. I've already made a number of videos on how to take a, a part of DeLonghi Dedica and how to put it back together in order to do some modifications. So what I wanna to do today is just show you, okay, in the middle of the work, what we have to do to wire in this dimmer. And first of all, you gotta ask yourself the question, why even put in a dimmer? What is the reason? And it all has to do with flow control. On a normal pump machine like this one, where you can't really do too much to control the pressure besides trying to alter how much the pump is pumping. You've got a piston in the pump and it's going back and forth like this over a ball and pushing the water. And it's basically only limited by the overpressure valve, which is right here. Now, if we want to lower the pressure, what we can do, however, is we can limit the voltage that makes it to that pump because the voltage that makes it to the pump is basically what is causing the piston to go back and forth. So if you raise the threshold high enough, it's going to go one way. If you bring it back the other way in a negative cycle of the current, then you are of the voltage, then you're going to have it come back. And so let's just take a look at what a dimmer does. Here you got your, your graph here, voltage and time. And what you got going on in Europe, for example, is you got your voltage going up and down like this in a sine wave with it topping out at about 230 plus volts, bottoming out at 230 volts. And this positive part of the cycle and negative part of the cycle is what causes that piston to go back and forth, right? Now this is at 50 hertz. That means that from this point of the curve to this point of the curve, that happens 50 times in a second in Europe. It happens 60 times a second in the USA. So anyway, what we can do, what a dimmer does, or what it doesn't rather, is it doesn't make this amplitude smaller like that. That's not what happens. What a dimmer does is something totally different. A dimmer has got diodes in it, and what the diodes do, they allow you to cut off some of this curve. So what you can do, for example, is let's say we will remove this part of the curve and not allow it to start, uh, not allow the pump to start getting voltage until this part of the curve. Then it goes up like that, and then we'll cut off this front edge of that part of the curve as well. And then basically what you got then is less time for the pump to be pumping, right? Okay, so as I mentioned, I've already gotten started here of taking this thing completely apart. You have to do that in order to get to the pump. And this is an inline thing right here. So this dimmer, you need to put in line with the pump itself. You can't really put it anywhere else in the circuit. It's gotta be in line to the pump. So I've already got one lead here and we're gonna make this so that we can just attach it to the pump with these clips and attach the other end here to the clip that was on the pump. That way it's gonna just be in series with the line leading away from the pump and we can remove it if we want to. This is also a very expensive dimmer. This costs, I think, over 100 euros. The reason I chose an expensive one this time is because, well, first of all, I found it for cheap at a flea market. But secondly, 
The last one that I bought for cheap for only 20 euros new at the hardware store, it just stopped working after a while. So I think you need to use a good dimmer. So anyway, I've already got this set up here and I got my other line here. Now we're going to crimp on a flat spade here to this other end, like so. Excellent. And we're going to put this, oops, got to strip that end. And we're going to attach this to our dimmer, like so. All right, so this is the interesting part. I have got this dimmer set up with two leads here. So I'm going to put one lead directly onto the pump, just like this. And I'm going to put the other lead of this dimmer to the connector that was on the pump previously. And now we got this wired into the pump circuit. So now at this point, I'm going to put the machine back together, try it out, and let's see what the results look like. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. I didn't show you guys how I took it apart um, because I got videos on that, but I'm gonna put it back together here. And what you'll see that I did do is I tied this wire here to this hose here so that um, so it's kind of just a little bit more tidy in there and that it can't, it doesn't have any tension on it uh, up this way. So what we're gonna do then is just stuff this all back in there. It's easier said than done. And I still don't quite know how I'm going to, where I'm gonna place this, but we'll see. Gotta get this put through the hole. Get this put through that hole like that. Get this clamp back on there. Hmm, slid in there all right. Okay, oh, look at that, I got this on the wrong side. Now one of the important things I gotta do before I forget is uh, attach this ground wire. It's not that hard, easy to, not that easy to videotape, so just have to bear with me here. Now one thing to keep in mind is you need to make sure that this knob here comes out directly through this hole. If it doesn't do that, then the cartridge isn't sat uh, yet completely where it needs to go. So I gotta kinda figure that out why it's not totally, ah, I think I know why. I've gotta get this back through the hole properly, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna jiggle it until I get that little clamp holder through there. Okay. Now we got it set in place. And I, I would like to mention something right now. This modification is definitely not for the faint of heart because you gotta take this whole thing apart. So keep that in mind, all right? I'm showing you how to put it back together, which is actually a little easier than taking it apart. So what I did do when taking it apart is I ordered these screws according to where they went. So I'm gonna put these screws back in to hold the cartridge. Excellent. This long screw. Just about got the cartridge back in. We'll slide this steam wand hose back through, attach that back to the nipple, like so. Put that clamp back up over there. Great, we're getting somewhere. We'll attach this ground wire back on there. Let's attach this ground wire back here. And again, it's nice that it has a ground wire because some cheaper machines don't even come with ground wires. Again, I apologize if you're not able to see that well. 
It's a little bit tough with the angles here, but you should get the gist of the idea. Just attaching the control panel back onto the front, uh, uh, onto the top lid. And uh, well, it turns out I got a cutout here already. So I'm gonna use that cutout for the dimmer. And I'm going to just slide the top back on. Like so. Okay, so now we gotta put the bottom on here. We do have the ground attached back where it needs to go. That's important. And very important, of course, is to attach the water source again. So here we've got three screws to attach that on there again. Two. Oh, yeah. That's not so bad. So the bottom is all put back together. And now all we have to do is attach the bottom plate. To get in the safety screws, we got to use this T20H. So these screws look like this, and we need a special bit to put these back in. And the two super short ones go on the bottom on this front foot. All put back together. Now we got our dimmer here. Have to put our power button back on there. That popped out. That should slide back in like so. Excellent. And we got to put on our steam knob. Very good. All right, so now we are ready to try it out. Alrighty, so in the end, I was actually not able to even use this fancy dimmer that I bought. This one by Bush and Miller that I showed you during the installation. This one seems to only work for actually lighting circuits because it looks for the load of the light first with the microprocessor in here and it's not able, it calibrates then. And so it's not able to be used in a circuit like this where it just gets a voltage only when the pump should be running. There's nothing to calibrate and therefore this fancy one cannot be used. But I did connect my simple one here that I got from the hardware store and that actually works. All right, let's just test it out one time. Here we go. Yeah, so you can adjust it how you need. Very nice. All right, so one last test we're gonna do is just see how using the dimmer affects the current going through the circuit. So let's do that. I got it already started here at the minimum setting on the dimmer, and I got it set here for amps on my multimeter. Now let's start a shot and see what happens. So we got 0.14 amps like that. Now zero because it's paused for the pre-infusion. Now let's just see what do we get. Looks like 0.23 at the most. Point one three at the least, and halfway. I'm not exactly linear. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. I would say it regulates down about fifty percent, not more than that. So you can't bring it all the way down to zero percent, but you can go. You can kind of coast between fifty and a hundred percent of um, the current in the circuit. The dimmer mod on the DeLonghi Dedica. Now, of course, this big honker needs to be ideally put inside somewhere. I've not found an ideal spot just yet, and I don't know where I wanna put a hole in this Frankenstein machine, but I'll probably mount it at some point. 
I'm sure you guys um, can find a good spot to put one and maybe you can find one smaller than this. I hope this video is helpful for you and if so, give it a like. Check out my other videos if you like what you see. Subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.